Hi, welcome. This is Arclix B. It's Plasma, but we are going to talk about about Arclix D and about the fact that we can install anything on it. So I'm going to boot up with the latest version, the one you'll have in March, uh, sorry, in May. And um, it's on the other side, of course, Control F, booting up. So this is yours. If you know how to build it, and what am I talking about? How can we build Arc Linux ISOs? Well, it's simple. You can type, I think, a dozen words, oh, sorry, letters, and then it's done. You have it. That's all you need to do. Follow a tutorial on Arc Linux B. You want to have the Arc Linux D ISO? It's here. See what, it's, what you have to do. You have to git clone this. You have to type something, run script 30 or script 40, and you've got it. How easy is that? Yeah, that's Arclix B for you. Now this video is about, yeah, is about Arclix correct, about Arclix D. It's gonna be here. I wanna make a video, phase three, JWM installation, that's ready. What I've shown you is option one, install the desktop using Calamaris. That's possible in the May release. I haven't shown you yet, and that's this video, option two, install the desktop using our scripts. So that's also fun. That's saying in Calamaris, I don't do anything in Calamaris. I just skip, 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 and I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to skip, skip, skip. So next, 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 next. Okay, one back. So make sure you are in Brussels. Of course, in the beginning, you choose your language and all that. You can change your things for sure but i'm not going to install software so i'll do that later on so i have more control over what i put on my iso no what i put on my ssd what i put on my computer right so you get something and it links d you get it here and you burn it and then you say choices right in the world no hibernate with hibernate up to you decide encrypt not encrypt keeping it simple here and this is the most bare Arch Linux slash Arch Linux thing you can have. And um, it really is like uh, 11 packages on a count of 600 or something like it. So uh, you take a calculator out, it's about two or 3%. That's really Arch Linux and all the rest is Arch Linux, right? A lot of stuff. So basically that's what I'm trying to tell people. Certainly Arch Linux D, right? It's without AOR. So it's really is either Arch Linux or Arch Linux. I'm gonna pause the video here. Um, it's quite fast, of course. It's a very minimal ISO that's being unsquashed, unpacked. And in the last button here, it's normally at around 80%. Everything is selected to be installed and all those screens we skipped, well, gonna be installed around 80. So if you install everything, you better have a good meal and then come back and everything will be installed because everything needs to be downloaded. That's one thing. How's your download connection, all right? And then everything needs to be installed. How's your PC? How powerful is your CPU? And do you have, have enough uh, space maybe on your virtual box, right? Because it happens, right? When we try something out and the virtual box runs out of space, it really does. If you, well, take 20 gigs or something and you start installing 16 desktops we have now, um, no, you're gonna probably run out of space. But then you know, next time you won't do it. So it's around this install packages, you see around 80, he's removing 16 packages. That are the packages that I need for Calamaris. Those are gone from your machine and then we reboot. So I did not have to pause. It's quite fast, really, this Arclix D thing, if you don't select any software, obviously. Done. And now the fun starts, right? We are in something black, and the Arch Linux people will say, I love it. We've skipped a whole part of phase one and phase two, and even far parts of phase three on the Arclix D guide there. And all I have to do now is just type in what I usually do, right? And that's saying LightDM is already mm, not, not yet installed. We didn't select it, remember? We did, didn't do anything. 
So what you could do is install LightDM and install XFC4, XFC goodies, Mate, Mate Extra, Plasma, Meta, and so on, right? And it's there. You have a complete, well, not complete, you have a desktop to work on and to make it complete later on. What we're gonna do, and we're going to use the power of scripting. So once you figured out, I wanna have this, I wanna have that, you put it in a, in a, in a file, and a file that you execute later. So reuse our code, reuse our code. It's there for you, github.com slash Arco Linux D, right? This is the D version, ISO is Arco Linux D, and then get scripts, Arco XFCE is ready, Arco JWM is ready, and so on. Why do I say ready? Because I'm thinking of migrating from one kind of installation to the other. What do I mean by that? The thing is, Arclinux flagship can, be, can, can become a cruise ship. Arclinux D can become a huge installation of 16 desktops with all kinds of software. So what we're actually needing a little bit more is now a minimal approach. So this is what I would consider a minimal approach. And you run, you decide what to run. And actually you can stop at 100, just one script. And you decide if you want to have the rest. So as agreed, 100 will contain everything to have a workable environment. And it depends when you're on the tiling window manager, then workable is uh, personal, but without any problems and eh? now it says reboot your system so i'm just gonna do that sr he installed lightm he installed the wallpapers he installed jwm he installed the configuration he in etc etc and what do we get a workable system right we got jwm nice and minimal file manager yes Otherwise the menu wouldn't work. Terminal, yes, otherwise it wouldn't work. And these guys are special. These are us, right? This is our clinics. These are the tools that we provide. And all the rest is, is again, a tool and some websites and some general stuff. This is the most minimal JWM you can have. And now it's up to you already in graphical environment, which is also good, right? Not everybody is happy in the black, but you can keep installing in the TTY. This is for us, development software, you can have a look. Did I install a, I didn't install anything yet, right? Nothing there to open it with. It's a very bare, minimal ISO, this Arclinux D thing. But then it's up to you guys. Um, well, you have to type termite, but I was not in the field there. Termite, okay. And this is number 110. This gives us everything we need to develop. I've got my Firefox, I've got my Meld, I've got Sublime Text, what else do I get? There we are. You can scroll up a little bit, it's everything that's this color, right? Flameshot is here, Meld is here, Platinum Search Bin is here, Telegram Desktop is here, Discord is here, we can talk to each other, send images, look what I found, look what I, what I did. I uh, think simple screen recorder was installed as well to show people what's going on. Restart. Simple screen recorder, you see? So this is after number 110. We got melt, we got sublime text, flame shot to take an image with arrows and text with it. Simple screen recorder F and F uh, Discord to, to chat and show images, etc. Telegram. And that's it. So it's up to you. Do you want to have sound, Bluetooth, printer, Samba? I'm not going to run all of them, but it's basically it. This is a, a rather important one, and that is a rather important one. All the rest are just packages. Do you want to have, open it up? It's a little bit different than you're used to. If you're looking at the scripts, it goes through a loop. So whatever is in between here is looped. And I just put a few in there, but you add more stuff to it. If you want to have other things than Plank and Variety in your accessories, your development, in your graphics, GIMP, Inkscape, Nomax. Um, oh, 
look at that this should be internet right that's something to repair and then multimedia office system and i put some of them in there but it's up to you to decide oh i'm gonna delete events don't want that but i do want this or i do want that um, etc so take a look at the uh, scripts they're new they're another way of doing things but the, the, the message is clear number 100 should should be sufficient and now you can wager your way through the desktop environment the way you see fit you'll miss some things and then you decide oh i forgot or i'm missing this lego block or i will install the additional arch linux software so these are our things but you can keep really arch at this point in time right we haven't installed that much in 100 take a look um, there is the lightm greeter so a nice um, way to greet you uh, with a nice wallpaper tunar everybody needs a file manager the settings for the custom actions in tunar and this is jwm and all that it requires so it's pretty uh, well still still quite pretty close to arch linux and that's the fun I think that could be the fun for you to build it up again so we have provided you like a um, how do you say a, a level of of base level and now you just build upon it and decide what else extra you want what things you decide to run here or just decide to change or decide never to run um, it all depends if you want conkeys or not uh, you need funds for the conkeys and, and you'll discover all these things. All right, have fun exploring Arclix D and exploring our scripts and changing them. Please do change them.